what is the hot J Beauty sunscreen that you need in your life? Three items that you need everyone and anyone to mm. get. For me, I think that's one of the best J Beauty sunscreens that you could get. This one is good for brightening. You get retinol in this little cream with high moisture, bro, sana. Welcome back to Japan Shopping Series. We're going shopping in Tokyo with a very special guest, Laura Bio Best Beauty. This is part two of the series. If you haven't seen part one yet, make sure to check in the description below and let's get our shopping started. Okay, so this is another brand that you need to check out if you're in Japan and you have sensitive skin. Even if you don't have sensitive skin, but you want to use something that's not like, you know, too like doing the most, this guy, he'll just do enough. He'll just do enough, but it's good. Kyureru. Ooh, I see this everywhere mm. and it looks good. I don't know what it is about the packaging. It just looks very professional and it looks like it's from like a pharmaceutical brand or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I think that is the type of image. I forget if it's not a Doctors Cosme. So Doctors Cosme are like cosmetics that are made by doctors and they're sold in clinics. And then if they get really popular, they'll be sold like outside of clinics. But I don't know if this was the thing, but um, if you see like the, what is it called? Their tagline here, it's Kanso Se Binkan Hada o Kangaita. So it's like they thought of, they make the products thinking of people with sensitive and dry skin. And so, you know, if you have sensitive skin, you in trouble. If you have dry skin, you in trouble. And if you have sensitive dry skin, you in double trouble. So they looking out for you. They got your back. See you later. Which one do you recommend? The cream, I think, is, you know, it's pretty basic. It's good to use. It's not like a, there's no if Sandra. Um, no, I'm looking, I'm looking for an expression that I cannot find. It might not exist. But I'll tell you right now, some info is that they recently came out with, they've had Kesho Sui or toners from way back in the day. But recently they added ceramides. Ooh. So that's the thing is that people didn't know. They were like, there was no ceramides? But they recently added ceramides into the toner. So I would recommend that. Good and, to know. Mm, mm, they have two different types. So they have uh, the Kesho Sui, the one, Yaya Shittori. So it is like kind of moisturizing. And then this one, the number two, Shittori, this is more moisturized. Mm. Mm. I didn't see, but they have a number three. What? what does that mean? Like more moisturizing? Yeah, so Shittori is like moist, but usually when it's used with like the toners, it's kind of like, you know, like those toners that are like, um, I'm trying to think, like Nambuzin, like kind of thick and drippy. Viscous and rah, Viscous. thick. Uh, yes, that is the word. So this is, once you get to more like, you know, this side, you're gonna get more viscousy. And the other side, like the Yaya ya Shittori, is gonna be like kind of a little bit lighter. Okay, so now we at the super popular, everybody wants to know what is the hot J Beauty sunscreen that you need in your life. So this Skin Aqua, they have two types. And as you can see, they don't even have the other type because it's so popular and it's so good this is the essence type so this one is a little bit more moisturizing it's gonna leave you for dry skin gals such as myself i really enjoy this type the other type is a little bit lighter it's a little bit more kind of like milky but not milky powdery just like light and watery and that one is really good and it usually comes in like i think it's like 110 grams and it's only 878 yen so not even 10 bucks so that is, for me, I think that's one of the best J Beauty sunscreens that you could get. And then these are really interesting because these all have different colors. Ooh. So like color correcting effect. This kind of came out, I think, like last year. So this one, it's the purple one. So it'll give you more like a tone up effect that you'll get. This one, the green one, is more for like color correcting. So like to, what is it, negate the redness on your face. So this would be good if you have a lot of redness. And then this one pink, they say um, to give you like keshukukan. So keshukukan is kind of like a like the life. Like you know, sometimes you wake up and you just like colorless and like lifeless. This will give you life. What about Ali? Because I remember there were not really great sunscreens that's waterproof right mm -hmm. so ali is actually one of the sunscreens that i fell in love with that's mm -hmm. waterproof and that has amazing formula i think now, that oh and now in korea there's a lot but even last year the, the year before there wasn't too many um ali is a super popular like it's always usually in the top of like the sunscreen charts of like what japanese people buy Ali will be up there and then Anessa will also be up there this one is oh um, yeah this one is kind of like what is it called a different packaging the usual one is like gold yeah but this same shape 
but this color yeah i'm sure that they have a whole section because this is one of the this, like something like that right this one is i think more supposed to be more what's it called like moisturizing because this one is more a little bit like sara sara so it's more kind of like, yeah like dry so this is good for like uh anessa i heard is really good for people with like oily skin so it'll leave you like with a nicer, closer to like a matte finish. Mm. So that's why I personally don't like Anessa because I got dry skin. I'm not trying to put dry on dry. You stay away from this. This one right here. <gasps> this is one of the worst sunscreens. If you want, I'll send you a picture of what I look like. Okay, I put on a lot of sunscreen, but it was, I don't know if they've improved their formula since the last time I bought this last year, but this was offensive to all senses. <laughs> it was awful. From Ali, which one would you recommend? Or what are the differences maybe? This one I think is I'm trying to think because it says I thought it's a up so this would maybe probably have a kind of like a little bit either a tone up or a kind of highlight effect. Ooh. And then this one just seems to be the regular. It says that it's strong against like what is it called? Rubbing. Oh. And it's strong against water and sweat. Mm. So this would probably be just like your basic like you're good to go what is it called Co all cover kind of sunscreen and just just fyi this the, the product is not this thin i know where's the products at man so if you said it says here kuhaku so this means that it's an empty box as mm. you can see like there's, there's nothing in here so what you do is you take this to the front and then they'll give you the actual product because it's a really popular product so I'm, I'm just saying you know some people they be trying to you know get it for 49 and <laughs> that was one interesting thing like when i came to japan last time i was like hold up where is everything and people are like <laughs> taking packagings to the cashier i was like oh okay so pe some people like take it and check it so yeah 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 that's that's good to know though because mm -hmm. i might be like oh maybe it's sold out you know yeah. so that's a good tip there's one thing though oh one, one more sorry sorry okay. oh no no no, no. I'm trying to see if it's here. It's they have a what is it called? Sunscreen cheek. Ooh. And it's Ali that has it, but I don't see it here. That's why I was like, oh no. What's a sunscreen cheek? So it's it's that's that's what it is. It's a sunscreen like a sunscreen blush. That's so cool. So you wear your sunscreen and then you wear extra protection. Yes. <gasps> That's so cool. And you know, like, as you're going through the day, like, sometimes your, like, blush and stuff will, like, wear off. Yeah. But, like, yeah, like, especially if you reapply sunscreen, it's going to take off the, what is it called, the cheek that you have. Yeah. But if you have, like, sunscreen that you reapply, and then you can just also reapply this one. And because you use so little, like, I use this in the sun, I'm, I'm not going to finish this probably for a while. Yeah. So it's a really good deal. Another product that you want to get I'm not gonna lie, I, I Tina Tanaka Harris. I'm a fan, girl. I stay watching you, and she always talk about these, the deep moisture, these melty types, and these are so nice. They melt like how they say the texture just kind of melts onto your lip, and it's just like nice and moisturizing and great. And another good part is the fact that it has SPF. Ooh, I love that. Right, so you can get that SPF protection, but you also get moisturized. And then they also have. For only 50 yen less, which I'm like, what? What is the point of this? The same type, but it's not the melty ones. They have this one here. This one is really good. These are also really good too. These like super cheap, but they come with SPF. So cheap. And then this one, I like the mint. The what is it called? The mint. Yeah. This Be one. Yes, because I love like the what is it called? The minty flavor. You know what's my favorite? Also, mm. this one. Oh really? The DHC yeah, one? I love it. I think I tried it back in the day, like when I first got to Japan. But that, same, same. Mm. I just stock up, especially for, from Yes Style. Yeah, that's right, girl. Yes Style, come on. And then you have these by Kate, which Kate is actually a brand that focuses mainly on doing makeup. And like, they're, yeah, their focus is not skincare, it's makeup. So I can't attest to, what is it called? The skincareness caredness <laughs> but i trust kate and kate yeah. we trust you know like Ooh. kate is not over here i don't think she's trying to give you dry lips why would she want to give you ch chappy disgusting dry lips you know so okay and because it's a makeup brand they do have like different kind of variations of colors so they have this one i would say is more for like you in japanese you say yebe or like yellow base so like um orangey colors and things like that and this kind of pinky i would say is more for like if you're brube or blue base yeah, so I'm, I think I'm Brube. I don't look good in orange colors. I look like a dang pumpkin. A rotten pumpkin. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to refresh on, you know, the brands that everybody knows. 
but loves you know we know when we love them so we go down here this is naturie the hatomugi lotion which i believe in english it's called job's tears and um good news for those of you who have sensitive skin this actually got updated this year and it no longer has alcohol if you have the new formula i can't attest to what is it called overseas the formulas that they have so you would have to check the product and if you're kind of suspicious maybe inquire and ask to see if they have the new one or they have the old one because i know people with sensitive skin you don't want to be trying to you know, burn your face off but yeah the new one has also this new little pop top that's another way that you could tell that you have the non-alcohol version good to know oh this is also really popular and this is the like you're saying the emulsion yes the lotion a lot of people are uh asking for recommendations for emulsions because mm. i know they have very liquidy moisturizers that's really popular in japan right yes so this one's a good one huh yes so this is really good and uh if you're just looking for that extra step of moisture before you seal it in with uh what is it called the what's the moisturizer yeah that what's called the cream yeah yes yes so if you for want sure. a little a uh, bit of extra you can do this and this is not exclusive the what is it called the emulsion is not exclusive to uh naturie uh -huh. they also have other brands but you know if you want to go the naturie line uh -huh. then you can definitely get this one and then they have here the gel cream Ooh. but because it's a gel i think it's more like um what is it called light yeah than a cream it's almost like an aloe gel kind of texture though. Mm. Mm. and this was so interesting oh the one right next to it Laura was telling us that this is a fake one. I'm uh, not fake one, but <laughs> so um, Donkey. This one you could tell us from Donkey. This yeah. brand, the Cos Parade, right yeah. here. I'm exposing you, Donkey. Yeah. That's right. I'm inside of you. I'm exposing you. It Cos Parade is like their in-house brand name. Ooh. So um, if there's any Americans watching, you know Walmart, Equate, yeah. Equati. Oh, is that it? Is that yeah. it? That's the their brand. The equivalent would be yeah. So Donkey, if you see it has Cos Parade. This is Donkey in-house made brand. Ah, uh, and the price though, mm. ooh, there is a difference. It's, it is a little bit cheaper. Mm. I just told Laura that I actually bought the the copy one. Yeah. From an onsen because I I couldn't read it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I could. I can't read Japanese, so I thought it was the same thing. So I, I bet a lot of people do the same. Like, hey, this one's cheaper, so I'll just get the cheaper one, you know. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Hold up! Hold up! No, I just remembered hot news. If you did not know, so hada labo. We come over here. Oh, they already have. I guess they got rid of the new ones. I, they, sorry, they got rid of the old ones. But if you see, it says at uh, eight. So you, Hadalabo was supposed to be famous for having seven different types of hyaluronic acid. But this year, I think in September or maybe August, they renewed it. And now they have eight types Ooh. of hyaluronic acid. So it's just like all different kinds of levels on the surface level. They have it minimized so that it goes into like the deeper levels. So they have the, what is it called? This is the Keshosui, so the toner. And then they also have the emulsion, which also, both of them have eight different types of hyaluronic acid. Ooh, so if you see the number eight, you know it's like the upgraded one, huh? Yes. That's the one. And then we have, of course, here the uh, Shiro Jun. So shiro is white and i believe june is like moisturizing so it's supposed to be still be like moisturizing you know it has its um hyaluronic acid stuff so here it says w ko sebun so like double active ingredients and i believe that we look here ah, okay so it says the yuko sebun um which are the active ingredients and the first list one is a uh, tranexamic acid Ooh. Yeah, which is supposed to be good for um, brightening the skin. And it also has Gurichirurin-san Jikariyum, which in English is, hold up, Dipotassium Glycerizazine. I know I said that wrong. So this one is good for brightening. And this one also, like the Kyureru, has different, like, not flavors. This is the Keshosui, but you have, you know, the white one the with this little white line here. It's just like regular. So it'll be a little bit lighter in texture and then the shittori type boot is going to be a little bit more heavier so for our dry skin gals such as myself and then here the new eki with the pink top this is the emulsion and if you notice the emulsion is also like smaller and i see this everywhere and i know like tina also recommended i think this cream right it was something <laughs> of this but mm. how do you even pronounce the name of this brand i don't even know how to pronounce this 
This is Merano CC. Ah, Merano CC. Yes. Ooh, like Milano CC kind of? Yes. Oh. I think, yeah, that's where, I think probably that's where they got it from. Ah, this is another thing you should probably watch out. Is they have these two, the Bioeki. So the Bioeki is the serum. And this is the one that comes out in like that, that tube that you have to really squeeze with like your Hercules hands to try and get it to come out. They have two types. And I've seen the Japanese cosmetic um, chemist. I think his name is Kazunosuke. And he just was like, bro, if you're going to buy one, just get the premium. Oh. Why even buy this one? Oh. Is what he said. That's a good tip. So just oh. keep that in mind. That's just, a good tip. Let's go for the premium, bro. Because you're premium. <laughs> now, if there's three items that you need everyone and anyone to mm. get, mm. what would it be? Top three. That top three. All right. So three. So I'm going to go with uh, three kind of different people approach. So number one, I would say, yo, if you want vitamin C for that quick brightening, because this, three minutes, and it has ascorbic acid. It's 700 yen, so it comes, there's seven mats, so it's like 100 yen per mat. So it's not bad, it's not bad. This is really good. Ooh, and then I don't think we see ascorbic acid pure ascorbic acid in sheet masks. Mm. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, that for sure. Yes. So this is, sana, oh. yeah. This is Sananamareka Hompo, but this is the foam cleanser, but they have a milk cleanser. And if you have dry skin, bro, legitimately get... It's not this one. I'll tell you right now, it's not this one. But that one is so good. Someone was... I think somebody asked, they were like, oh, like, what's the, what's the cheapest brand that you would recommend? And I think it would be Sana. Like, Sana is so good. They have all different kinds of types, and this is the regular high moisture cream and then what is this 900 yen for, mm. for less than 10 bucks and you give me high moisture mm. they do have one with bihatu so if you want to get it with brightening effects mm. you know a little bit of extra special effects it's only 300 yen mo and you can get more than you bargain for for sure and the mm. price point is 1200 yen that's not that's bad that's really nice for a moisturizer oh wait hold up sana don't stop because <laughs> now we got the one with the pure dechinoru. So this is, it says it comes with pure retinol, okay? You get retinol in this little cream with high moisture. Bro, sana. Look, man. Well, it's kind of... And it's only 1,480 yen. Right? So you, you go with kind of slowly, incrementally. But a cream with retinol, you know? And it's, it's not harsh retinol, like, gonna burn mm. off your face. Because it's Japanese, so it's very gentle. Definitely, I would recommend this. I would recommend this. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and Laura. It was a dream to learn about Japanese beauty. And I just don't want this time to end. But thank you so much, Laura, for teaching us so much and for roaming around with us and shopping with us. And we will leave all the details in the description below for your handle. Do you want to say anything to our unicorn? Thank you so much. Yeah, well, thank you for having me. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you get better. And uh, no, no, and I'm gonna keep going. Yes, you're free. Yo, come on. Yo, we gotta go. So thank you so much, though. I, I just want to say thank you. I have a great day. Have a great day, y'all. That's what I want to say. And be your best. Be your best. I love